Hello, good morning. Um, uh, I would like to discuss and uh, to have an a shall I call shall I call this as um, in depth way of discussing function programming. Okay, uh, I think uh, this might be the last video for um, function programming, and then eventually we'll be going into um, array. No, uh, yeah, and. Uh, this is actually a, a supplemental video for the past videos of mine that talks about um, uh, function programming. Okay, so um, I am going to discuss uh, function programming uh, in an in-depth way by way of giving an example, and we'll try to do some changes along the way of the program. Okay, a program is actually using a function programming, but then we'll try to. Uh, I'll try to introduce another way of doing things, right? In as much as uh, function programming is uh, concerned. Okay, so um, I would like to suggest you you look at my screen, all right, and uh, try to digest, understand the problem, understand the program, as I tend to do some changes uh, along the way. Okay, and of course I'll be discussing a lot in, in here. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to share my my, my online compiler. Actually, uh, I have this uh, uh, program. This is, I think, um, I don't know what's the title of this uh, video. I I I, uh, I think this is what um, displaying the sum of the number series. Okay, if you can see my YouTube, um, it's in here. Okay, uh, I'll try to look at it. Um, Okay, here, getting the sum. Okay, this one, I think. We are just okay. on the so, eve of launching a brand some. new event for people in the one. Philippines. This, is, uh, who this one, okay, uh, getting the sum. It's actually a C program okay, everyone that uh, discusses about uh, using for loop statement, okay, to get the, the, the sum of a number series. Okay, so um, here, if you can see, on my main program, main function, I have this uh, declaration and uh, I tend to use in to get a number, to get a value and this get value is actually a uh, function, okay? So this is our function for get the value and uh, uh, if you did a lot of review of my video uh, prior to this, uh, you can uh, understand this. Um, this get value will certainly get a value and then whatever value that comes in that will be returned back to the caller and the caller is in and then once you have your n right you can then make use of m to call loop looping function it's another function and while you are trying to to call looping you'll be bringing the value of n here all right and this is our looping function okay and we are bringing in and, and the value of n is being received by x and eventually the value of x is being used here as an upper limit of a function and uh, the purpose of this x is to simply compute for the the sum of the the number series all right so if x is 5 then 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 will be computed and uh, be stored at sum okay and so when we when we run this program right when we run this oh there's an error i'm sorry there's an error um for a while i think i need to do some space in here okay we'll try to run it again uh i'm sorry um i i did not uh i did not check the program so for example if it's five right this five will be stored to n and eventually pass on to loopings function and be received by x all right and uh, then 5 will serve as the upper limit so we'll be displaying oh, i'm sorry oh, i'm sorry I, I did not check the program but then uh, um, i think we need to add some backslash in here okay so when we run this program uh, again and again i'm um, sorry um we'll try to supply 5 and when we press enter k uh, we are now trying to display the value of i 5 1 2 3 4 5 and of course the sum of the number series meaning 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 that's 5 okay so i suppose not to use capital 
I but <laughs> right. So here, if I'm going to uh, uh, feed in three as our upper limit. Uh, I'm sorry, my internet is not so okay. So one plus two, that's three plus three, that's six. Say, let me say three. When you press enter K, then we'll have the sum of the number series, which is six. Now, what we're going to do here is we'll try to do some changes, right? So like here, for example, we will try to, okay, minimize. We'll try to to shorten our 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 uh, uh, main function. Uh, we'll try to uh, disregard this one and uh, this one okay so uh, instead of saying uh, aim is equal to looping we'll try to call looping within the bound of get value function all right so we'll 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 call okay this looping one to here so instead of returning something okay instead of returning something we'll okay we'll try to call looping function okay and as we call looping function i think we can we can declare uh, get value function as void because we are not we are trying to return nothing all right so uh void and uh instead of saying display this one we'll try to call this one within the bound of here okay so um We'll try to for a while. All right, M in S. So here, I think this is it. Uh, display. So display sum. Okay, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, we are going to call. Uh, we'll try to 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 into. Um, because our purpose here is to get rid of these two lines okay so to get rid of these two lines and uh, as much as possible uh, instead of having right uh, four lines in uh, main function we'll come up with uh, with uh, two lines the get value and uh, the uh, the return value okay and uh, eventually will be gone we'll try to, to to execute this program okay so here um instead of saying n is equal to get value uh we'll try to all right because we're not going to to return from the main and uh we get value and the loop must also be void okay please follow my screen and these are all void because we're we're going to return nothing okay so we'll not we'll not be using uh return function here uh, get value in get value same with uh, same with here we're not going to return uh, anything in here but instead we'll try to call the function display so if you can see um, if you're trying to look at my screen okay we can now actually uh, erase right? and uh, in, uh, we will be trying to what? no more declaration because we are we are actually uh, we are actually using n nothing in as much as uh, variable is concerned okay so here display m um, this must not be m but I think this must be sum right? this must be sum okay so whatever is the value of sum that will be uh, that will be bring it here together with the sum so that we can call display and when we call display we're bringing sum pass it to y and then these three characters will be received by a b c respectively and then we can run i think um i hope uh this will run okay try to click um run button and there's an error a uh, get value error undeclared looping okay so why is that so why is that so uh, um, undeclared error in undeclared first in get value okay so here instead of saying looping in we'll try to make use of the value because we don't have in in here okay so we'll try to run it again let's see if there's an error and up 
it's run. Okay. So with five when you press enter K, we are not we are not displaying this one. Okay. So again, I uh, will try to um, uh, supply three, for example, and when you press enter K, we are actually getting the same screen output as before, but then look at the main function. Okay. Look at the main function. We are um, actually having how many lines of uh, um, statements in main function. We only have two. Number one is get value. When we get inside main, we tend to call get value, right? Without making use of a variable as a caller. And when we get inside get value, right? Get value, ask for a value. And then whatever value is that, that will be stored to variable value. And then this variable value, uh, actually we can change this, but we will not be confused. We can change this to x, right? Uh, x, and uh, here we can also change this to x. So our get value will try to ask for a value, and that will be stored to x. And whatever is the value of x, right? Uh, that will be what? Be considered as parameter when we call loop. So while we are in the bound of get value function, we are calling looping function. And when we call looping as function, we'll try, we are bringing x. And when we get inside looping, the value of x is being also forward to x. And uh, here, we, we have this loop. Actually, the, the, the discussion of the loop in here are similar to, to, to this video, right? C function programming does getting the sum for the sum. And then... Um, uh, when it exceeds, meaning if our i is not anymore less than or equal to x. And remember, our x is actually the upper limit, and we get this x from the get value. So when the value of i exceeds the limit of the upper value, which is x, if our x is only 3, then if the value of, 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 of i uh, is 4, then it will exit. And once it exits from the loop body, it will then go in here. And when it goes in here, all right, we'll try to make use of sum as parameter. Take note here, this kind of formula will try to compute for the sum of the number series, one plus two plus three. If our no no upper number if, or if our x is three, and then that six value will be stored to sum, and whatever is the value of this sum will be considered as parameter. Same with these three characters, okay? And then it goes back in here, get inside, and do the following. And it will display whatever is the value of sum plus uh, the word SUM. So that is why when we try to run this program, okay, then we can have uh, actually the same, the same uh, uh, value as before. All right. So that's it. Um, I, I, I hope um, I was able to, to explain the program. Okay. And uh, uh, it's another way of making use of what uh, uh, function programming. Uh, we are trying to cut as many as possible uh, as far as main function is concerned. Okay. We did cut two lines, the calling of the looping function and the calling of the display function. And while we are in the bound of get value, we try to call looping. And while we are in the bound of looping function, we try to call display. And then after all, after all the the, 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 the the calling of functions, right? It goes back here in the main function and uh, will execute return zero. And return zero is what? as good as we are going to terminate the, the program, okay? So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I hope um, I was able to explain the, the technicalities of the program. You can actually make use of this um, this way of programming when you are in object-oriented programming uh, subject. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, God bless you. Um, God is good always. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now.